Welcome back to Parkshire Library Red Temba News, where we are closely watching a zombie invasion of Tullamore. School children have been holed up at the Tullamore showground and are currently planning a way to escape or defeat the zombies. Our Tullamore correspondent, Muffy Farnsworth, caught up with the leaders of the scientist camp, Dr. Matt, and the survivor camp leader, Dr. Sam. Um, we're here in the scientist base now, and we're here with Dr. Matt. Currently, he's helping the children with using books to find out strategies. Now, why are you using the books? The fact is, it's an absolute crisis. We're using whatever resources we've got. I swipe the books off the shelves in the zombie laboratory. They're trying to see if there is even one fact, one skill that is going to help them survive the zombie apocalypse. Okay, so do you know if they've come up with anything yet? So far, look, this group, they're brave, they've got a lot of heart, but I haven't seen the technique. They've already let a half dozen zombies into their base. I'm concerned they need to focus and they need to build their skills. So what, would the, what was the purpose of those maps? Uh, the main purpose was to get them thinking and strategizing where would they go. So finding freshwater lakes just for water, for food, like animals, and yeah, a safe haven from the zombies. Thanks, Muffy. Muffy Farnsworth, our intrepid Tullamore correspondent caught up in the thick of the zombie invasion of Tullamore. Muffy has also informed us that the school children aren't the only ones working out strategies. It appears the zombies have a thing or two up their sleeves as well. Muffy managed to make her way into the zombie stronghold and find out more details. What do you guys plan on? Uh, we were planning an attack strategy on how to get the survivors. Oh yeah? So what have you guys got here? Um, we're going to try to work as a team and have a couple of chases probably and some taggers. Muffy also managed to discover the zombies' plan to put on a display of their strength and destroy some piñatas. Unfortunately, during this display, the cameraman was attacked. So is there a specific reason or are you guys just making them for fun? Um, we're doing it for trundle and parts. We're going to rip them off and destroy them. Awesome. Um, so, why are you guys bashing up the piñatas? Well, uh, it's uh, training to uh, kill the humans. Why do you guys need to train? Because they're pretty good. <laughs> Fortunately, no damage occurred, only a few cuts and bruises. Muffy Farnsworth was also able to talk to one of the school children who was captured by the zombies. Here's what she had to say. Okay, so weren't you one of the survivors? Survivors? Yes. Yes, yeah, so what happened? Um, I fell with my tissue paper. Oh, yeah, so that, that virtually turns you into a zombie. Yeah. That kind of sucks. That's more fun on the same. Ah, yes. Being evil is usually more fun, is it? <laughs> awesome. That was Muffy Farnsworth with one of the school children who was captured and assimilated by the zombies. Stay with us, we'll have more after the break. <laughs> 